guys, welcome to another cooking lesson with Chef Steph. Now today we're going to make roasted butternut squash soup and it couldn't be any easier. Go ahead and preheat that oven, preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then you're going to take your butternut squash. Now to tackle this, you are going to just slice off a piece of the bottom to make it more stable to work with, cut off the top and then you're just take a nice heavy knife and cut straight down the middle, scoop out the seeds, put it on a, on a rimmed cookie sheet with uh, some, a drizzle of olive oil and some salt and pepper and stick it in the oven for 45 minutes. It couldn't be easier, just put it in there and forget about it. When your buzzer goes off, take your squash out, put it on the counter to let it cool down a bit, and get started on your soup. So you're going to take a nice uh, large soup pot, and in there already we have some olive oil, some butter, and some, one large onion topped, and some garlic. And we're letting that sweat out with a little bit of salt and pepper. Once that sweats out for a couple minutes, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our squash. Your squash is still going to be a little hot, so use a kitchen towel or a paper towel to protect your hands. And just take a spoon and scoop out the flesh. It's, it's very easy. Go ahead, scoop it into the pot. And then we also have, we already have our second uh, half already scooped out, so we're going to put that in there. Go ahead and move that around a little bit. Let it get incorporated with the onions and garlic. And then add the rest of your seasonings. First up, we have a teaspoon each of fresh sage and fresh thyme. Then I have a half a teaspoon each of smoked paprika and cinnamon. And then we have one bay leaf. And then our final ingredient that we're going to put in here is about an eighth of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. I like to do this fresh because it has such a, a much more pungent flavor than your ground nutmeg that you would get in a spice jar. Okay, so that's our eighth of a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. We're going to let these work together for just another minute or two, and then it's time to add our liquid. So the first thing we're going to add is one quart of vegetable stock. Now you can use any of these good quality um, store-bought stocks. We'll put that in there, and once this comes up, you're going to turn your heat up a little bit and bring this up to a simmer. And you're only going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. You really want just those flavors to get together because the squash is already cooked. Um, so again, you let that go. Taste it for some seasoning. You might add a little bit more salt and pepper. And after about 20 minutes, you're going to go ahead and puree your soup. I like to use an immersion blender to puree my soup, but if you don't have one, you can use a regular blender or a food processor. So you get that to your right consistency, and then you're going to add your final touch, and that's just a half a cup of light cream to the mix. And that just gives a nice richness to the soup. So you go ahead and you stir that up, and you just let that cook for just a minute, just to, all again, all your flavors are getting melt together. And that's it. It couldn't be any simpler. Now we already have some that's done here. So here we go. And just to finish this off, here's your, your pureed soup. Then you're going to take a really good quality maple syrup and do a very nice drizzle around the top. And then you can always add a nice sage leaf for some for, for a nice effect. Again, thank you so much. I'm Chef Steph, and that's our roasted butternut squash soup.